CNMB uh, starting point, uh, of course. And the CNMB which uh, shall start on the eastern side. Yep, and let's take a look at these guys' tanks. So the Malaysian team have opted for three IS-3s, a pretty similar setup to their previous two maps. And on the Chinese team, on the CNMB team, they have actually pretty much... I mean, both these teams have actually opted for pretty similar strategies. Well, yes, unless uh, you uh, count the fact that, uh, yes, uh, player Yu Yi, uh, mm -hmm. who had displayed such nice controls in taking out that heavy tank with his uh, uh, Terry Light, uh, went for the exact same vehicle. Uh, he opted for WZ-132 uh, uh, Light Tank. Yep. So, w once again, the extreme mobility uh, when it comes to the CNMB side. Mm, yep, and the CNMB side, actually, instead of having four light tanks this time, they actually decided to switch out one of those light tanks for Yes, indeed, like uh, they took out the AMX, uh, the AMX uh, tier 8 light, uh, mm -hmm. uh, pretty much. So no AMX yeah. 13 uh, this time around, uh, yeah, uh, they uh, traded the, this one actually for a VK. Yep, and both teams kind of, I mean, pretty much every team we've seen play on this map, they kind of go for the same area, the same kind of center uh, center, it's not a ridge, but the center well, terrain. Well, it's a pass uh, yeah. in the middle, pretty much, uh, right south of the airfield. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, a crucial point, of course, uh, to take control of this map. Nobody's uh, so far as going through the water. Uh, obviously, that is another flanking maneuver that's possible. One that's very, very risky if oh, there wow. is... Oh, wow, and actually a really, really heavy push coming out from the Malaysians. They are sending pretty much every single one of their tanks from the down. Chinese. Yeah, pretty much everything just all in right here there's just yes pushing indeed really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh it is a pretty one-sided push they did of course take out uh, this uh, t1 yep and they're i mean they're, they're, they're going they're going in oh yeah, they're absolutely yeah. just uh, they're throwing everything they've got at them uh, now they got a scout uh, taken out uh, as well yeah uh, that was a brilliantly uh orchestrated shot uh, that is3 getting uh, uh, one kill as well that was newbie jr yep and actually they're taking quite heavy fire trying to pass through that that uh, little opening right well, there. well obviously like yeah if you're just gonna make such a one-sided push they've already like lost uh, both yeah. uh, scouts <laughs> here and they're walking into a trap uh, mm -hmm. as of right now yeah and actually another cheeky move coming out from the chinese they they are trying to capture the enemy base once again. Well, obviously, because they know that they've yeah. thrown everything uh, that, that basically uh, the uh, Malayan Corps tanker th mm -hmm. threw, uh, they, they've thrown everything uh, they had at them. Mm -hmm. So, meanwhile, like, yeah, the more mobile tanks moved in for uh, the base capture. Now, all they have to do is hold this. Yeah, definitely. If they can survive uh, this pretty much uh, firefight, then they will win because there's no way those heavy tanks have the time to go back to their base to defend it. Yeah, that's. That's definitely true, and the Malaysians are trying really, really hard to push it, push, push this right now. They, I don't know if they can win this battle because they are the aggressors. So they won't have as much cover as the defending team. Well, I mean, they are the aggressors, and right now, yes, they're destroying tanks, but uh, but meanwhile, <laughs> their, <laughs> their base, base is, is being capped. captured. Yeah. So uh, we only have, uh, yes, uh, a handful of seconds left. Uh, Ten seconds, as a matter of fact, and this is going to yeah, uh, this do looks it. Like it's so, over. Um, uh, it's pretty much going to be uh, a game over once again, and the Chinese side uh, definitely uh, doing well using their extra mobility. Yeah.